Hi, my name is Rob, and I'm going to be giving a demo of the export import functionality for updating your item catalog. So this is useful if you want to make bulk changes to your item library offline, or even if you just want to retain a copy of your item catalog and store it in your files. So what I'm going to do is go to actions, then click export library. And there are a few options here. You can export all of your items in your item library as is. Or if you want to only export a few, you can use the filters in the item library to really narrow down uh, exactly what you want to edit in bulk. Uh, and then you just click this uh, and it'll export only those items. Or you can click blank import template if you actually just want to use the template uh, to create some new items from bulk, which you can also do. So I'm going to leave the file format as is in Excel. I'm going to hit export. And then that's going to show up in my downloads. So I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to use numbers for this, but you can use Excel if you're using a PC. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, so here's my item library, all of my items. Uh, so let's say that for my bomber item, uh, of which there are a few variations, small, medium, large. I want to update the stock because I just received some new stock and I want to update the price. So first let's do the price. So it's currently listed for $100. Let's say that I want to raise the price to 105. And then I want to update the stock to 25 because I received more. So this is the current quantity and then this is the new quantity. So I'm going to add 25 here. Uh, and just in general, when you're updating your item library um, like this, you know, you want to make sure that the column headers generally remain unchanged. That can cause some issues when you're trying to import things. Uh, you want to make sure that the required fields like item names or variation names uh, are still in here. Uh, and you want to make sure that you avoid any special characters that could cause formatting issues. Those are typically uh, the most common um, you know, issues or cause of issues that we see when re-uploading your item library. And we have a lot of help articles that can help you with this. So please do check out the uh, Square Help Center. Um, okay, so back to the uh, task at hand. So I've updated uh, my quantity and price here. I'm going to hit... Uh, export to Excel. I like to do this just to make sure that it remains in the format that we need it to. So I'm going to call this bomber update A. I'm going to hit export. And now I'm going to navigate back to my item library. I'm going to go to import. And then I'm going to find uh, the file, the bomber update A. I'm going to hit open. Uh, and just this setting right here, overwrite entire item library. Uh, generally, you only want to do this if you, um, you know, delete a few items in your Excel spreadsheet and you want that to reflect uh, in your dashboard. Um, unless you explicitly want to do that, I would avoid checking this because that can also cause issues if you unintentionally overwrite things that you don't want to. Uh, so I'm going to hit next. And this will bring me to a uh, part of the process called sync data. And this is designed just to make sure that the columns, column headers uh, in your spreadsheet match what Square expects. In general, if you haven't changed anything, this uh, there shouldn't be any issues here and you shouldn't have to do anything. But it's just a chance to review um, you know, that process to make sure there aren't any potential issues. Uh, so I know I didn't change any uh, column headers, so I'm just going to hit next. And then I'm going to see those changes reflect in my item library. Uh, you can see the stock on hand updated to 25 and the price for the item and its variations updated as well. There are a number of ways for you to edit your item library in bulk. If you prefer not to use CSV files or Excel files, you can make updates directly within the item library using bulk actions. So for example, if I want to update the shipping fulfillment method for my bomber jacket, my button down, and my cargo jacket, I will select those and then go down to actions. And here we have all of the available 
uh, bulk actions. Um, you can update site visibility, sales channels, categories, fulfillment methods, online sale price, low stock alert. You can set an item as non-taxable, and then you can archive and even delete items in bulk. Uh, so if I want to update fulfillment methods for this item, these items, I can do so here. Uh, so let's say I want to enable these for shipping. I'll click shipping. I'll click update. And then that action will apply to each of these items. So I'll just go into this item to confirm. And here you can see that this item is now enabled for shipping. And so that's how you use bulk actions.